Let us now pray the Oratio Imperata for protection against COVID-19. Please all kneel. Merciful and compassionate Father, we come to you in our need to seek your protection against the COVID-19 that has disturbed and claimed many lives. We ask you now to look upon us with love and by your healing hand, dispel the fear of sickness and death, restore our hope, and strengthen our faith. We pray that you guide the people tasked to find cures for this disease and to stem its transmission. We thank you for the vaccines developed made possible by your guiding hands. Bless our efforts to use these vaccines to end the pandemic in our country. We pray for our health workers that they may minister to the sick with competence and compassion. Grant them health in mind and body, strength in their commitment, protection from the disease. We pray for those afflicted. May they be restored to health. Protect those who care for them. Grant eternal rest to those who have died. Give us the grace in these trying times to work for the good of all and to help those in need. May our concern and compassion for each other see us through this crisis and lead us to conversion and holiness. Grant all this through our Lord Jesus Christ, your Son, who lives and reigns with you in the unity of the Holy Spirit, God forever and ever. Amen. Amen. We fly to your protection, O Holy Mother of God. Do not despise our petition in our necessities, but deliver us always from all dangers, O glorious and blessed Virgin. Amen. Amen. Our Lady, Health of the Sick, Pray for us. Saint Joseph, Pray for us. Saint Raphael the Archangel, Pray for us. San Roque, Pray for us. San Lorenzo Ruiz, Pray for us. San Pedro Calungsod, Pray for us. Good morning, brothers and sisters. Our Mass Presider is Rev. Father Luis Felipe Villalubos, L.C., Chaplain of Everest Academy, Manila. Please all stand as we begin our Eucharistic celebration. In the name of the Father, and of the Son, and of the Holy Spirit. Amen. The grace of our Lord Jesus Christ and the love of God and the communion of the Holy Spirit be with you all. And with your spirit. Maganda numaga sa inyong lahat. We are very thankful to have the opportunity to celebrate the Mass here in Manila Cathedral. We thank you, Father Reggie, to give us this opportunity. We are from the religious order of the Legionaries of Christ. And I invite you to join me in a Thanksgiving prayer to say thank you to Mama Mary for these five years of service in this beautiful country as I start my new journey in the States. My dear brothers and sisters, let us acknowledge our sins and so prepare ourselves to celebrate the sacred mysteries. I confess to, to Almighty God and to you, my brothers and sisters, that, that I have greatly sinned in my thoughts, in my words, in what, in what I have done, and in what I have failed to do, through my fault, through my fault, through my most grievous fault. Therefore I ask, Blessed Mary, Ever-Virgin, all the angels and saints, and with you, my brothers and sisters, to pray for me to the Lord our God. May Almighty God have mercy on us, forgive us our sins, and bring us to everlasting life. Amen. Lord, have mercy. 
Lord, have mercy. Christ, have mercy. Christ, have mercy. Lord, have mercy. Lord, have mercy. Let us pray. <coughs> o God, who in the abasement of your song have raised up a fallen world, fill your faithful with holy joy, for on those that you have rescued from slavery to sin, you bestow eternal gladness through our Lord Jesus Christ, your Son, who lives and reigns with you in the unity of the Holy Spirit, one God forever and ever. Amen. Please be seated. A reading from the book of Genesis. Israel set out with all that was his. When he arrived at Beersheba, he offered sacrifices to the God of his father, Isaac. There God, speaking to Israel in a vision by night, called, Jacob, Jacob, he answered, Here I am. Then he said, I am God the God of your father. Do not be afraid to go down to Egypt, for there I will make you a great nation. Not only will I go down to Egypt with you, I will also bring you back here after Joseph has closed your eyes. So Jacob departed from Beersheba, and the sons of Israel put their father and their wives and children on the wagons that Pharaoh had sent for his transport. They took with them their livestock and the possessions they had acquired in the land of Canaan. Thus Jacob and all his descendants migrated to Egypt. His sons and his grandsons, his daughters and his granddaughters, all his descendants he took with him to Egypt. Israel had sent Judah ahead to Joseph so that he might meet him in Goshen. On his arrival in the region of Goshen, Joseph hitched the horses to his chariot and rode to meet his father Israel in Goshen. As soon as Joseph saw him, he flung himself on his neck and wept a long time in his arms. And Israel said to Joseph, At last I can die, now that I have seen for myself that Joseph is still alive. The Word of the Lord. Thanks be to God. The salvation of the just comes from the Lord. The salvation of the just comes from the Lord. Trust in the Lord and do good that you may dwell in the land and he fed in security. Take delight in the Lord, and he will grant you your heart's request. The salvation of the just comes from the Lord. The Lord watches over the lives of the wholehearted. Their inheritance lasts forever. They are not put to shame in an evil time. In days of famine, they have plenty. The salvation of the just comes from the Lord. Turn from evil and do good, that you may abide forever. For the Lord loves what is right and forsakes not his faithful ones. The salvation of the just comes from the Lord. The salvation of the just is from the Lord. He is their refuge in time of distress. And the Lord helps them and delivers them. He delivers them from the wicked and saves them because they take refuge in Him. The salvation of the just comes from the Lord. Please stand. Sa iyong mga salita, 
Alleluia, Alleluia, Alleluia. The Lord be with you. And with your spirit. A reading from the Holy Gospel according to Matthew. Glory to you, O Lord. Jesus said to his disciples, Behold, I am sending you like sheep in the midst of the wolves. So be shrewd as serpents and simple as doves. But beware of men, for they will hand you over to courts and scourge you in their synagogues, and you will be led before governors and kings for my sake, as a witness before them and the pagans. When they hand you over, do not worry about how you are to speak or what you are to say. You will be given at that moment what you are to say, for it will, be not, for it will, it will not be you who speak. But the Spirit of your Father is speaking through you. Brother will hand over brother to death, and the father his child. Children will rise up against parents and have them put to death. You will be hated by all because of my name, but whoever endures to the end will be saved. When they persecute you in one town, flee to another. Amen, I say to you, you will not finish the towns of Israel before the Son of Man comes. Brothers and sisters, the Gospel of the Lord. Praise to you, Lord Jesus Christ. Please be seated. Good morning, my dear brothers and sisters. Happy Friday. The responsible psalm begins saying this beautiful phrase, trust in the Lord and do good, that you may dwell in the land and be fed in security. You know, my dear brothers and sisters, the Bible is full of verses reminding us about this truth, the truth of the righteousness of the people of God. God loves the righteous man. The wonderful story of Joseph and his brothers in the book of Genesis, is a very clear example. As we read in the past few days, he was sold by his brothers. But by the providence of the Lord, he became the second in command of the entire land of Egypt. The story of Israel and his sons ended with Israel's words, Jacob's words, at last I can die. And I would, I, I can die in peace. Look up the psalm again. Turn from evil and do good. When we are in the path of righteousness, my dear brothers and sisters, the Lord will never forsake his faithful ones. Again, as the Psalms reminds us. But maybe at this point the question is, Father, how can I make sure that I am on the right path, on the path of the righteous one? As I told you, Canina, I wanted to come here to say thank you to Mama Mary, the Immaculate Conception, for these wonderful five years working and serving in this beautiful country, the Philippines. 
And looking at her, it reminds me how Mama Mary was the woman living a very particular virtue, the virtue of silence. I'm not talking about to be incapable to express yourself or communicate something, but rather I'm talking about to the capacity to go to the inner sanctuary of your heart and in silence open wide the space of the Holy Spirit that she is going to make because he is going to make a masterpiece in your life. Let's look at the gospel. You will be given at that moment what to say. The Holy Spirit is the one making sure that we are doing properly, saying what we have to say, follow what we have to follow. Pope Francis loves using the image of God as the God of surprises. You might remember. My dear brothers and sisters, I think this is our real challenge. Allow the Holy Spirit to surprise us every day. Allow the Holy Spirit to be the one preparing the agenda, making the agenda of your life. He will whisper at your heart in every single moment of your life to tell you what you do, how to follow God's paths in your life. God, therefore, will definitely suggest how to love our brothers and sisters especially here in this beautiful country, when we see too many of them in authentic need. He will suggest how to reach out, and maybe sometimes how just to simply smile as an authentic manifestation of our love for them. I would like to say thank you to Mama Mary now that I'm celebrating my last Mass here in the Philippines, as I start my new assignment in the States. I'm from Mexico, and I have, of course, a special devotion of Our Lady of Guadalupe, devotion that I found in this country as well. Let's keep reminding ourselves her message, message of hope, Am I not here that I'm your mother? Why you are so worried? In times of uncertainty, my dear brothers and sisters, especially now in this pandemic, let's keep listening in that silence her maternal voice and assurance that she will be with us always, no matter what. In a couple of days, I will be celebrating the Mass in the Basilica of Our Lady of Guadalupe. And believe me, the very first thing that I will do is to put the entire nation of the Philippines in her maternal mantle and protection. I'm pretty sure she has a particular love for this country. Don't be worried. I'm with you. This should be our constant reminder. And for that, we pray and ask Mama Mary to help us to go in this journey, the journey that is leading us towards heaven. In the name of the Father, and of the Son, and of the Holy Spirit, amen. Please stand.
Assured of God's guidance and protection, let us approach God knowing that He is always ready with the help that never fails. The church leaders may be determined and fearless in proclaiming God's message despite opposition. Let us pray to the Lord. Lord, Lord hear, hear our, our prayer. prayer. That nations and peoples may be freed from sinful systems of oppression and terrorism. Let us pray to the Lord. Lord, Lord hear, hear our, our prayer. prayer. That those experiencing difficulties in their marriage may receive the grace to persevere in their commitment. Let us pray to the Lord. Lord, Lord hear, hear our, our prayer. prayer. That those tormented by fear and anxiety may find protection within the community. Let us pray to the Lord. Lord, Lord hear, hear our, our prayer. prayer. That those who have died may reap the rewards of their labors in God's eternal kingdom. Let us pray to the Lord. Lord, hear our, our prayer. prayer. Father, you are the source of life. Dispel the darkness of evil from our hearts and fill us with the brightness of your blessing. We ask this through Christ our Lord. Amen. Please be seated. Please stand. Pray, brothers and sisters, that my sacrifice and yours may be acceptable to God the Almighty Father. May the Lord accept the sacrifice at your hands for the praise and glory of his name, for our good and the good of all his holy church. May this oblation dedicated to your name purify us, O Lord and day by day bring our conduct closer to the life of heaven. We ask this through Christ our Lord. Amen. The Lord be with you. And with your spirit. Lift up your hearts. We lift them up to the Lord. Let us give thanks to the Lord our God. It is right and just. It is truly right and just, our duty and our salvation, always and everywhere to give you thanks, Lord, Holy Father, Almighty and Eternal God, through Christ our Lord. His death we celebrate in love. His resurrection we confess with living faith and his coming in glory we await with unwavering hope. And so, with all the angels and saints, we praise you as without end we acclaim. Holy, holy, holy Lord God of hosts, heaven and earth are full of your glory. Hosanna in the highest. Blessed is he who comes in the name of the Lord. Hosanna in the highest. Please kneel. You are indeed holy, O Lord, the font of all holiness. May holy, therefore, these gifts we pray by sending down your spirit upon them like the dewful, so that they may become for us the body 
and blood of our Lord Jesus Christ. At the time he was betrayed and entered willingly into his passion, he took breath and giving thanks broke it and gave it to his disciples saying, Take this, all of you, and eat of it. For this is my body, which will be given up for you. In a similar way, when supper was ended, he took the chalice and once more giving thanks, he gave it to his disciples saying, take this all of you and drink from it, for this is the chalice of my blood, the blood of the new and eternal covenant, which will be poured out for you and for many for the forgiveness of sins. Do this in memory of me. Please stand. The mystery of faith. We proclaim your death, O Lord, and profess your resurrection until you come again. Therefore, as we celebrate the memorial of his death and resurrection, we offer you, Lord, the bread of life and the chalice of salvation, giving thanks that you have held us worthy to be in your presence and minister to you. Humbly we pray that partaking of the body and blood of Christ, we may be gathered into one by the Holy Spirit. Remember, Lord, your church spread throughout the world and bring her to the fullness of charity, together with Francis, our Pope, and Jose, our Bishop, and all the clergy. Remember also our brothers and sisters who have fallen asleep in the hope of the resurrection and all who have died in your mercy. Welcome them into the light of your face. Have mercy on us all, we pray, that with the Blessed Virgin Mary, Mother of God, with Blessed Joseph, her spouse, with the blessed apostles and all the saints who have pleased you throughout the ages, we may merit to be co-heirs to eternal life and may praise and glorify you through your Son, Jesus Christ. Through him and with him and in him, O God Almighty Father, in the unity of the Holy Spirit, all glory and honor is yours forever and ever. At the Savior's command, and for by the by teaching, we dare to say, Our Father, who art in heaven, hallowed be thy name. Thy kingdom come, thy will be done on earth as it is in heaven. Give us this day our daily bread, and forgive us our trespasses, as we forgive those who trespass against us. And lead us not into temptation, 
but deliver us from evil. Deliver us, Lord, we pray, from every evil. Graciously grant peace in our days, that by the help of your mercy we may be always free from sin and safe from all distress. As we await the blessed hope and the coming of our Savior, Jesus Christ. For the kingdom, the power, and the glory are yours now and forever. Lord Jesus Christ, who said through your apostles, Peace I leave you, my peace I give you. Look not on our sins, but on the faith of your church, and graciously grant her peace and unity in accordance with your will, who live and reign forever and ever. Amen. The peace of the Lord be with you always. And with your spirit, let us offer each other the sign of peace. Peace be with you. Lamb of God, you take away the sins of the world. Have mercy on us. Lamb of God, you take away the sins of the world. Have mercy on us. Lamb of God, you take away the sins of the world. Grant us peace. Please kneel. Behold the Lamb of God. Behold him who takes away the sins of the world. Blessed are those called to the supper of the Lamb. Lord, I am not worthy that you should enter under my roof, but only say the word, and my soul shall be healed. Act of Spiritual Communion My Jesus, I believe that you are present in the Most Holy Sacrament. I love you above all things, and I desire to receive you into my soul. Since I cannot at this moment receive you sacramentally, come at least spiritually into my heart. I embrace you as if you were already there and unite myself wholly to you. Never permit me to be separated from you. Amen. Please stand. Let us pray. Grant, we pray, O Lord, that having been replenished by such great gifts, we may gain the prize of salvation and never cease to praise you. We ask this through Christ our Lord. Amen. Today's Mass was concelebrated by the superior of the Legionaries of Christ in the Philippines, Father André Lasana. Maramin, maramin salamat, Father, for accompanying me today. Maramin, maramin salamat po. As I start this journey, I will treasure forever many things from the Philippines, especially one thing, the joy and the smile of the Filipino people. Thank you po. Maramin, maramin salamat. Let's receive God's blessing. The Lord be with you. And with your spirit. May Almighty God bless you, the Father and the Son and the Holy Spirit. Amen. Go forth, the Mass is ended. Thanks be to God.
Thank you.